Our next speaker is Dave McGinney. Dave is Vice President and General Manager of BCA, a Massachusetts technology company, and a 19-year veteran of the PBD School Committee. He has received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Massachusetts Association of School Committees and has been a leader in the fight against Common Core. Through his recent initiative, he forced the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education to disclose who they share student data with and rallied his school committee members to publicly call for a conflict of interest investigation into Mitchell Chester's involvement with Park. Dave intends to make the point that Massachusetts is number one in the nation. We shouldn't switch to Common Core until they can prove that it's better than what we have already. Dave? Thank you all. Thank you. Yes, as you heard, um, my name is Dave McGinney. I'm a general manager of a technology company here in Boston. I'm a lifetime recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award from MASC. And as Arnie Duncan likes to refer to me, a white suburban mom. <laughs> uh, uh, there have been a couple of comments about Mitchell Chester not attending these, ev these events, but I actually saw Mitchell Chester today. Well I, well, I saw his face on a milk carton. Oh. And uh, it's amazing. He can talk to all of his, his ivory tower educrats. Right, Dean? Yeah. But he can't come and face the parents and the teachers who have real serious concerns about Common Core. This weekend, I was talking to a teacher who came to me. He knew my position on Common Core, and he said, Dave, I read these Common Core standards. I, I actually don't have a big problem with them. Can you please point out to me what is it about the Common Core standards that you don't like? And I said, well, listen, if, if you think the Common Core standards are the whole story, you're not, you're not seeing the big picture. To which he responded, he said, well, then you're just listening to Fox News and Tea Party people. Now, at, at that point, I could tell he had a serious case of Park Bola, for which there is no known cure. And I'd rather spend my time talking to open-minded people. So I simply asked him this. What was it about the Massachusetts standards that was so terrible that it was worth spending $4.3 billion of race to the top money to flush them down the toilet? To which he had no answer, of course. Now, couldn't that $4.3 billion have been used for real needs in education? Needs like lowering class size? Needs like instituting pre-K programs in our school system so we can identify as early as possible kids who have needs. You know, it's important, and some, some of our speakers have already pointed out to this, but here's something from Mitchell Chester's comments last week. These are the opening school comments just last week. Mitchell Chester said, Massachusetts has the lowest annual dropout rate it has seen in more than three decades. And the four-year graduation rate is the highest it has been since the state began calculating. Massachusetts fourth and eighth graders are first in the nation in reading and math, and our 15-year-olds rank near the top internationally. Since 1993, we have been on a decades-long trajectory of raising expectations for all students. Oh my God, why wouldn't we want to throw this terrible standard out? We can't have that. Mitchell Chester also said something. In 2009, here's what he had to say. Lots of kids in Massachusetts are getting a world-class education, but lots of kids are not. And I don't think it's our MCAS standards that are preventing us from doing better. That's what he said in 2009, but the following year, he took an all-expense-paid trip to London, the world headquarters of Pearson Testing, and upon his return, he immediately began a crusade to dismantle our current Massachusetts standard and institute park testing. Now, as you all know, Mitchell Chester, the person who's supposed to be the independent evaluator of whether Park is better than MCAS is also serving in his fourth year on the governing board as the Park chairman. Now I imagine they appointed him the Park chairman because he felt very strongly about Park. I don't think he told them that he was kind of ambivalent about Park and they said this is the guy we want as our chairman. Of course not. 
I mean, having Mitchell Chester put in that role of determining whether Park is better than MCAS is is like Ray Rice being in charge of a domestic violence uh, committee. It's absurd. And he continues to talk about this two-year test drive of Park. We're in our second year of the two-year Park test drive. Well, if this is a test drive, Mitchell Chester should be arrested for carjacking. This is crazy. He cannot possibly be independent. At a minimum, our students deserve some objectivity on whether MCAS or Park is better. Now, right now, I'd like to speak directly to my fellow school committee members from around the state. Those school committee members who have voted to implement Park this year versus MCAS, the two main reasons I heard for them doing so were this. The first reason was Park is inevitable. And that is simply, folks, a lie. Park is not inevitable. In fact, if anything, it is imploding. This year, less than one quarter of American students will be using Park. A larger number will be taking the Smarter Balance Test, and more than half of the students in this country will be using neither Park nor Smarter Balance. They will either be using something else or taking no test associated with Common Core at all. The second reason they chose to support Park typically was that their superintendent has recommended it, and we should support them. Well, let me tell you something. The superintendents in Massachusetts last less than three years in any district. Less than three years. Here's how it works, folks. The first year is the honeymoon. The second year, they actually are being held responsible for something. In the third year, their resume is on the street. That's just how it is. And these superintendents understand that if they're going to increase their chances of getting a job somewhere else, they better be seen as progressive, and they better get along with the DESE. Let me tell you, school committee members, your job is not to be supportive of the superintendent. Your job is to be supportive of the children of Massachusetts. Do your job. Do your job. Do your job. Thank you. Our next speaker, I will let her introduce herself. Hello everyone, I wasn't scheduled to speak, but I just wanted to say a few words. My name is Leah Cole, I'm the state representative for the city of Peabody, and I am here today because I support local control, I support the abilities of our teachers and our families to make decisions on their children's education, and I support Massachusetts remaining number one without Common Core. And I just wanted to recognize an outstanding school committee member that Peabody has, which is Dave McGinney. <laughs> He has truly done a remarkable job spearheading this movement and informing people and getting the ball rolling so that we can oppose Common Core and stay number one. Thank you all so much for coming.